Today we go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the Skywalker Saga. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, these past couple of weeks, we have been learning a whole lot more about this movie when it comes to some of the set leaks, the scene schedules, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Now, these past couple of months or so, we have been learning more about this movie when it comes to some of the plot leaks out there, especially especially the huge one back in May of 2018, and the more recent one just a couple of weeks ago, and today we will be going over some additional details of just that. Like I always say, take this with a grain of salt, but it is very interesting stuff for sure when it comes to this episode 9 plot leak that seems to mainly focus on the first act of episode 9, leading into the very beginning of the second act of the movie. Specifically, Kylo Ren is concerned about the Jedi experience expanding with Rey holding knowledge gained by Luke Skywalker, something that Snoke feared even before The Force Awakens. A segment in the first act goes over Kylo Ren trying to track down Rey, not to kill her, but to prevent her from spreading any knowledge gained by Luke that others could learn from her. The first act goes over three problems for Kylo Ren, finding Rey, tracking down the mole within the First Order, and his personal conflicts of actions from the past and what the future may hold. The Resistance is safe at this point as they are untraceable, hiding on multiple planets and different star systems, slowly building an army. C-3PO has been helping Rey for a long time, making her understand the sacred Jedi texts. Now let me stop right there for a second because that does indeed connect right into the Poe Dameron comic that I believe ended just this month by the way. I'm not quite sure if the last issue came out or not, but in one of the issues it does go over that C-3PO is helping Rey translate the text, so that honestly connects to that. Uh, both Finn, Poe, and Rey go on a mission to a mysterious jungle-like planet with bases and ruined villages. Now, this could honestly be the leaked photographs that we saw over at Black Park, all right? It could very well be something like that. Just a guess, though. Heading into the second act is when Rey goes off on her own for a personal adventure slash mission, mimicking Luke in Return of the Jedi, splitting from Han and Leia off Tatooine. Lando Calrissian has settled in a distant star system, close to the unknown regions and in the Outer Rim. This is when Rose and Nine Num recruit him and Maz. He already knows about Han's death and wants revenge, but feels it's not the right time to fight openly. Rose informs Lando that Leia has a plan and that they have located the planet of the headquarters of the First Order that resides on. Leia wants to use a devastating ship that can be used once to break through the fleet protecting the planet. Meanwhile, Finn, Poe, and Chewbacca depart the planet with Naomi Aki's character, who leads a paramilitary group to regroup with Lando, Rose, and Nine Numen crew after the battle on Maz Kanata's space pirate ship. Everyone around the galaxy is involved in taking down the First Order. Bounty hunters, criminals, soldiers, even civilians. The First Order is completely unaware of this regrouping, however a mole in the First Order is helping them internally. So a couple of things that I do want to go over here is of course that there is going to be a mission between both Finn, Poe, and Rey. Which, honestly guys, is great to hear. That is something that has been absent for the longest time in the sequel trilogy. I don't know if you guys agree or disagree with me, but I feel like that is one thing missing from this trilogy that we saw in the original trilogy. Is of course, with Luke, Han, and Leia honestly always being grouped up together, we never saw this in the sequel trilogy. We never saw, you know, Finn, Poe, and Rey doing something together in an actual mission, which I felt was a little off, and I feel like that could very well be why, you know, this new trio isn't as iconic as Luke, Han, and Leia. We didn't get much interaction between these three characters, which maybe there's a reason for that that we will find out about in episode nine, not quite sure. But nonetheless, it's very nice to know that apparently there will be scenes between these three characters in one big scene. The other thing, all right, the other thing that I do want to go over is how Kylo Ren is dealing with a lot of problems as leader of the First Order. It seems like that maybe, 
you know, he's not really, he didn't expect it to be like this as being, you know, the leader of the First Order. Uh, Kylo Ren is essentially dealing with multiple different problems, such as finding Rey. Uh, he's essentially trying to find Rey and prevent her from spreading any more knowledge that Luke Skywalker gave to her. That is another thing that I find to be, you know, one of the more intriguing aspects of Kylo Ren. Uh, the other thing is, of course, tracking down the mole within the First Order, a cat and mouse game, very much like what we saw in Revenge of the Sith. And that's one thing that we learned a couple of weeks ago, that is that apparently in Episode 9, there will be little tomes from Revenge of the Sith in Episode 9, a cat and mouse game like in Sith, you know, it was all about finding the Sith Lord and finding out who he really is, which ended up being Palpatine. In this, it's all about finding that mole within the First Order, which, by the way, I think it's General Hux. There's a lot of leaks and rumors out there suggesting that it is him. And it only makes sense now, right? Because it seems like Hux and Kylo, they just don't get along. And the other thing is Kylo Ren dealing with his own personal problems. Now, what personal problems could he be going through? Maybe he's still, you know, regretting killing his own father and indirectly killing his own uncle, Luke Skywalker. Or could it also be that maybe he's regretting the fact that he is now the leader of the First Order. He has this huge burden on his head, right? Maybe he now realized that ruling the galaxy isn't really what he thought it would be. Maybe it's not all that satisfying. I would love to see an angle in Star Wars like that. Now, looking at the other pointer that I want to bring up is, of course, Lando Calrissian already knows about Han Solo's death. If this actually does end up to be true, that is one thing that I disagree with. I would much rather have him just learn about Han's death. Though, you know, it may seem a little off if this movie is taking place years after The Last Jedi, so I could see why he would already know about Han's death. But nonetheless, he wants revenge. That's why he's in on this fight and this battle. He wants revenge for, you know, the murder of his best friend. But little does he know, guys, is that, well, I'm sure he knows that the leader of the First Order is, you know, his best friend's son. Somebody that Lando Calrissian knew. He knew Ben Solo as a child, you know? So if you guys read a lot of the canon pieces out there, he actually knew Ben Solo as a child. And that is a little, you know, kind of like a hard thing to work around in Star Wars Episode 9. So we'll have to wait and see what J.J. Abrams does with that. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.